Hey YouTube, it's your boy Gabe One Two Three coming back with another video, and this week I'm gonna be showing you guys my top 10 pickups of 2016, and it's a couple hours before 2016. It's like what 5:14 on the 31st. I'm trying to get this video out before the New Year so you guys can enjoy it. It all makes sense and all that. So I'm gonna do um 10 things I picked up. My top 10 things I picked up in 2016. Uh, basically, it's gonna be based on um my emotional attachment to the piece and how much I wanted it. So yeah, let's get it started. All right guys, number 10 is the Raf Simmons Strack black and white colorway. Hold up, let it focus real quick. Um, it's not focusing, but all right, these Johns right here, I picked them up for 170 on Black Friday. Recently picked them up, uh, the end of 2016. I get decent wear out of them. That's why I'm putting them at number 10 as well. Um, really cool shoe. I seen um, Lucas Abbott rocking these, um, and then like they look so good on his feet, so I just wanted to pick them up. 170, kind of a steal for some rides. I mean, nowadays it's not that much of a steal. Before they go for like on sale, they'd be like 300. I got these for 170. Really, really good. So yeah, number 10. Number nine. Um, I wasn't really hyped to get these, but um, I my boy was like, damn, I'm trying to get these. So we went to the, he was trying to get the hoodie, the Fila. By the way, these are the Gosha uh, Fila collab, Dover Street Market exclusive. And um, luckily I live by New York, so I live by Dover Street Market. They get a lot of shit from Gosha that like nowhere else gets, so it's really, it's really cool to have one nearby. Um, so he wanted the hoodie, the red, white, and blue hoodie. He got it later on, and um, they didn't have it in his size, so he started trying on the shoes. Um, and he was like, damn, these don't really fit me that well because they only have um, full sizes, so 9, 10, etc. Um, so he was like, damn, I don't think I'm going to get these. So I was like, let me try them on because we were the same size. And I really, really fuck with them on my feet. So I decided to pick them up. They come in four colorways. This, the gray and red, and then the black ones and vice versa colorways. Uh, so yeah, I got these in a 9. Um, 140 something, I think they retail for it, so pretty good price. Um, these become like beaters for me, I wear them everywhere. Um, any outfit, I love white shoes, like shaped like this. Um, so yeah, that's why I picked them up. Alright, guys, next up, y'all don't know how much I wanted this piece right here, but it's going as number eight. Um, because there's so much better stuff that I picked up. But when I picked this up, I was so hyped. I got this in a large, the V Lone. I think this is the original V Lone hoodie, or the white one, I don't really know. Um, but this is one of the original V Loan pieces that ever came out, and I got this at Sneaker Con. I paid 300 for it. I think I could have got it for a little less, but I really wanted it, so I wasn't gonna really negotiate with the guy. I just wanted the hoodie. Um, and it's reversible, as you guys can see. Hold up, I'm about to show y'all. This is the back of it when you reverse. It's a, like a red V. Damn, that looks crazy, but I'll show y'all in some close-ups later. If y'all don't know what it looks like, it's a V Loan hoodie. Black, it's a little cropped at the bottom. It's falling at number eight. I really, really fuck with this piece. Um, really complements a lot of outfits. And I don't regret buying it for 300, but I think I could have got it for a little less. Um, v is really hype right now. And uh, I got decent wear out of this piece too. And yeah, that's why it's going at number eight. All right, guys, next up for number seven, I believe, if I'm counting correctly, the Gosha Reeboks. I picked these up. Um, I picked the black ones up in the summer and then I ended up picking the white ones like three weeks later at opening ceremony. I picked the black ones up at um, Dover Street Market. Dover Street Market always has this shit. Um, so I picked the black ones up at Dover Street Market, sold them shits because I wasn't really wearing them because I don't really fuck with all black shoes. And then I picked these up at opening ceremony. I got a lot of wear out of these. If you guys could tell, they're really, really beat. I mean, because of the lighting, you guys aren't going to really be able to tell the white shoes. But they're really, really beat. I use these to do everything. Um, basically, like my everyday shoes. I wear these to school like every day. And if you don't know them, they're just basically like regular Reeboks. But if you do, they're really, really fucking. I fuck with how they look on my feet. Um, black jeans, blue jeans. I really fuck with these shoes. They're basically like my go-to shoes right now. These and uh, Fila's are both my go-to shoes right now. They both buy Gucci too. And yeah. He's my number seven. All right, guys. Number six is a V Lone Friends camo shirt, long sleeve, uh, with the V on the back. 
another be long piece this year. Um, I got three in total this year. Really excited uh, with these pieces. I got this. I got an XL because it fits really, really like small. It's weird. Um, and not a lot to say about it. It's really like just a camo shirt. Goes well with everything. The orange contrast well with like I have the the palace Adidas and shit look really good with this shit because they're the white and orange ones. Um that's pretty much it. It's a really clean piece. I get compliments on it when I walk around in the street. Um yeah pretty much that's it. Friends be long green camo number six. Alright guys number five we're getting down to the top five. I chose this because it looks really really good on me and uh, let me tell you guys what it is first for you guys that don't know I'm make I'm over here talking but this is a Gosha uh what's the name of this brand my barber know the name of this brand his name Sergio Tacchini Gosha Gosha Sergio Tacchini collab this also came out with the free lies um and at first I didn't really fuck with it and I just I don't know like the neck looks so good and uh, it's just basically like a track jacket little zip up turtleneck thing um really 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 cool i really fuck with how this fits and that's basically why it's going at my top five like i really really fuck with it and yeah number five gosa sergio tacchini collab all right guys my number four i currently just had them on my sakoki sandals i got these in green and all black i wear these mostly um i'm thinking of getting another pair um, the tan ones, because I think I wear them shits a lot too. But I paid 170 for these and 90s for these. 90 for these off my boy. Got these in a nine and these in a nine and a half. <clears throat> and they're really comfy. They got fur on the inside and shit. Um, I'm gonna wear these all winter. I wear these everywhere to be honest. That's why I picked them at number four. So yeah, let's go to Sanders. All right, guys. Next up, I stressed for weeks about what. Well, a week about this release if i was gonna get anything or not i ended up getting two of these really really lucky on my part um the supreme north face tnf collab i actually wanted the bubble jacket but i ended up getting this and i actually wear this a lot really 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 warm i actually got the pants as well but i didn't put them in my top 10 um the bubble pants i got this i wanted a camel bubble jacket if any of you guys want to trade it i'll add i live in the new york new jersey area so let me know um, got this in a size medium. I was really, really stressing about this. I didn't even get what's it called, like to the next page on Supreme, like because they also they actually have like a, a order confirmation page, and then um then you know that you bought an item. But I didn't even get that. I just got an email because it said my card declined, but I had money, so I didn't even get that. I just got an email, and I was really, really happy. Um, I got two of these. I used like three phones. I got two of these. I was so happy. Um, I sold one of these, but um, this was really, really hard to get, and I really, really wanted it. That's why I'm putting it at number three. And yeah, Supreme TNF collab 2016 fall winner. All right, guys, next up, number two, the Sage Box logo. I got this a couple weeks ago. Got this for retail, actually. Um, I was actually stressing more for the, um, for the North Face drop than for this drop. Uh, I got one of these. This is what I was going for. I got this in a large. Uh, wore it a couple times, but this was so hard to get, and it goes for so much that I had to put this in number two. It was um, something I wanted all year, a box logo. And I finally got it. Really happy with it. So this is going as number two. Couldn't go for number one, but number one is something really special to me. So yeah. <laughs> guys, number one, what you guys have been waiting for is this guest jeans. Varsity jacket, obviously it's a vintage varsity jacket. I got this at the round two vintage. Round two is basically like this vintage shop that also sells Supreme, Bape, and shit that's hype like V Long. And basically this is my favorite pickup of the year. I got this at the pop-up shop in New York. They have one in Hollywood and in Virginia that I'm aware of. Um got this for 140 to size small and it fits me. I really really fuck with how this fits. How this looks like this is really crazy. Like one of my favorite pieces, and I got this for 140, and that's why it's my number one. Like I really, really fuck with it, even though the box logo is worth more, it's more hype, all of that. This is my favorite piece of the year, and yeah, guys, number one, guess varsity jacket. All right, guys, thank you for watching my top 10 pickups of the year. 
um, drop down like you guys top five or your top pick up of the year in the comments below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe and come back next week for another video. Peace. <coughs> Wait, also follow me on my social networks. I'm gonna put them right here. Peace.